One, two, three, four. Hey, we're Quest Cloud. And we're sitting up in the AP offices in Cleveland, Ohio. <laughs> Just gonna sit here and talk to you about some tour stories or or fun things that we say amongst the band. So um, hope you enjoy it. Yeah, Let's talk about how we lost our scrims because we were we in Ohio? because of our own mistakes. There, there was a part towards the end of our set where we were just kind of like, "All right, this is it. Don't get scared now." <laughs> <laughs> and so we let, we want people to know that we're in bands, but we're warriors too. So just let it be known. Right. Exactly. And basically, we had these things called scrims, and if you don't know what scrims are, it's the big, uh, like, six-by-six six things you put on stage that basically say your band name. In and front of your amps. In front of your amps, you know, they're cool, I guess. And uh, and towards the end of our set, I would just we would just start grabbing them and throwing them out in the crowd, and um, and they were pretty big to lose, because they're like usually like six-by-six, six, like six feet by six Well, feet. usually, we had our road dude would jump in after them and get them for us. Yeah, normally. but we, we lost one. So we don't use them anymore. Yes. Somebody folded it up, put it under his shirt, and walked out. Yeah, yeah, they did. We so had we another. We had another instance where we were playing in. Uh, what was that? Was it Salt Lake City or something? Oh, Salt Lake. When Josh yeah. got tackled. And Josh. Josh. <laughs> Somebody was, wanted to tackle Josh. Yeah, Josh. Bill someone, Goberg style. Someone got down three points. Losing some weight at the time, so he's really light on his feet. And this kid, <laughs> really small kid, jumps up on stage and tackles him like just. Spirit. Not like, not like, F you, Joshua Travis, but like, oh, hell yeah, this yeah. is awesome. A hell yeah tackle. He was, yeah. He was definitely still he was still A hell yeah, but our, Bill Goldberg spear. Our whole set out. is run on our computer, and the computer, if that skips, all hell breaks loose. So the computer goes flying past me. Like, I'm playing drums, and the shit just goes flying past me. I'm like, well, it's over. It's a wrap. Basically, went out, <laughs> we went out like the next week and, and had like a custom case made for the computer so it doesn't fall off stage. Because we, we rely on backing tracks and, and click tracks and, and stuff like that. So now we got that. But it still skips. It still skips. <laughs> oh, we just play through it. We just <laughs> hammer through it. Jerry. What's up? Your S's. S's? What about them? Just because I can't say my S's. Say the slithering snake. The slithering snake. <laughs> uh... Yeah, I think sometimes it's funny when people slip up and they do the whistle lisp, mainly Matthew McConaughey, because he does it a lot in movies. I can't even watch a movie with him, because every three minutes, every three minutes, he's saying something with a whistle lisp, and that's funny to me. <laughs> a whistle lisp. So I think that it's it's really funny when someone slips up and do it, but I, I do it randomly <laughs> just to throw people off. Um, that's That's just something that I like to do. And uh, I don't Six, exactly know what this segment's about. We just talked about 666 senile seniors. <laughs> Six. Um, also, we have this funny thing in our band. It actually originated at Berkeley. It's called Cy Fields. And it's, um, it's a bass player, right? But, uh, Al. No, a keyboardist. Keyboardist. Oh, yeah. I don't know shit. Our friend, me and Chad's good friend from school, Al Cleveland put us on to it. It's basically like when you say something and get either like shut down or someone like talks over you or something and I guess he when he plays he does like a <laughs> <laughs> So if someone says something and then and then it doesn't really work out you're just like, "Oh." Like you go to the bar to And don't mind me. Yeah. The, you, you go to the bar to order a drink for a girl and she <laughs> goes, "No, my my boyfriend's on his way over." And you go, "Oh." Yo, oh. oh. <laughs> yeah. So or or you're like uh, a, a fan's like, hey, can I get a picture? And then they give you the camera. Yeah. I said, oh, we they said, oh I didn't know you were in the band. Oh, oh, oh I'm not. Oh, you're in the band. Oh. Gotcha. Cool. <laughs> we we also do this thing. It's basically mimicking a seagull. We call it caw because if there's someone. I thought it was a hawk. Well, the hawk stream is different. Yeah. The, the, the seagull is because they, they steal seagull, everything. Because that's what seagulls do. Oh, yeah, this seagull. Whole time I thought it was a hawk. Yeah. That's different. Hawks don't steal. They take. Yeah. They, they take. They, take. they, they don't steal. They take. <laughs> yeah. They, they're not stealing your food. They're taking no matter what. And your arm if you try to stop. <laughs> if you hear a call and we're around, there's yeah. a good chance all your stuff is gone. If you have yeah, a, if you have stuff, a food. If, if we're around you and all you hear a call, you better watch your fries, or watch your chips. your chips, watch your beer, 
<laughs> it's basically <laughs> like you if someone has a, if someone has a like a bag of chips or something and then you're sitting there and you just go like a bird would do, like, caw, and you take it from them. But you won't, You might not see it. You might just hear it in the same background. And feel and you it. might wind up with three, four less fries than you had before. Yeah. You said, what? <laughs> you might wind up with less chips in your bag than you had before. <laughs> Last night, I was. we went to Walmart on the late night creep tip, and um, we were actually went in to try to find VHS tapes, which, which I, we, we realized if you ask for a VHS tape, people look at you as if you are from a time warp or something. Because apparently people don't watch VHS. Well, we decided when we walked in, we were going to ask for them. Like, Seriously. They would be there. I said, so I went up to the guy and said, hey, so where are your VHS tapes at? He said, VHS. Like, we got DVDs. I said, well, what's that? Like, I just said, <laughs> you mean DVDs? No. No, VHS. We want Liar, Liar, Be kind, Aladdin. rewind. You know the deal. Um, and, yeah. Actually, this morning, I woke up, and we that's why we were late. I was. <laughs> we were getting I saw, VHS I saw tapes. a video store across the street. And there were some gems. I got Jungle to Jungle. Yes. Liar, yes. liar, liar. Ready yes. to rumble. The bone saw. Yeah. And ready to rumble. <laughs> yeah. ready to rumble. Yeah. And it's about to be on and popping. Yeah. All the way on and popping. We got Mario Kart and we got Super Smash Brothers. Oh, let that be known. On this. Let it be this known. This is a challenge or whatever you take it out, you will. But your boy here is best Mario Kart. And I know all these kids are going to be like, no, nah, I bet you I'll beat you. And that's fine. But <laughs> step up to the plate. So I can just spank that ass and <laughs> send you packing. Can we cuss? Is send them back cuss? home to mama. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty, pretty nasty at it. Basically, if you play with, if you play against me, you're fighting for a second and third slot. You're not gonna. I'm gonna be so far ahead. I'm just up there in reverse, just playing. You can get all the blue spike shells you want. That's fine. I don't. I don't care. You can get all the blue spike shells you want. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> Shoot it at me. What's your boys coming? It's with open the invitation. Bolt. I bring. I bring my 64 with me on tour. I have all the games and everything. As we were in Walmart after, you know, we went out, went off on a tangent of VHS, but uh, and I bought some like some like little just like microwave something or other food, and I walk in, you know, and there, whenever you pull up at a, a gas station on tour, you know, your van and trailer, we all get out, we look like shit, and um, so he's like, oh, you guys a band, you know, and I was always like, yeah, and and it's and it's, especially for a band like ours, trying to explain like the heaviness of our band is uh, basically this how it went down. So you guys a band? Uh, yeah, yeah, can I use your microwave? Sure, so what kind of music is it? Um, for me, it's, for, for lack of a better explanation, I'm not gonna say, well, we're groove-oriented, polyrhythmic, hardcore, you know, like I can't go into that sort of say, oh, we're a metal band. And, uh, and uh, so he, he decides to say, oh, um, so it's like heavy, like White Snake? <laughs> and I said, uh, no, no, heavier than that. And then he said, oh, so like Megadeth. <laughs> and uh, no, a little heavier than that too. And then he responded, "Well, how is that possible? Because those are the heaviest bands on the planet." So um, I thought it was funny. I just don't even begin to. Well, I, normally I can say, "Well, our guitarist plays a nine-string guitar." So if that doesn't sum it up for you, I don't know how to, how else to say it. You know, we chug, chug, chug. You know, it's, it's um. You know, because normally it's, you know, you're, if you're in the Midwest, it's like, Wallace and Disturbed. So I know what heavy music's like. You need to tell me. And I'm like, oh, okay. Ohio. Yeah, <laughs> it's love, fucking love it, Texas. white snake and... But he, this guy, this guy was a talker. I mean, it was late night. It was like 3 in the morning, and he's just in there. Like, anybody who comes in, he was like, oh, hey, Moose, how you been, man? Like, hey, literally. <laughs> and I remember when he said he'll stand up to the trucker? Yeah, he's he said, I don't everybody. care if you're a trucker. I'll stand up my toes against you. To one of the truckers. because My toes against it. The, the, the trucker came in and said, you got my cigs, man? <laughs> he said, what? He said, the red label. He said, I'll take 10 of them. He bought 10 packs of cigarettes. So he's good. And, uh, <laughs> so he's good. He'll be all right. He'll be good for a day or so. And, uh, and <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's always it's always fun, the late night uh, truck stop encounters with um, the Hills Have Eyes crowd of the world. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best way to explain it. <laughs> um, as far as inside jokes, I I mean, we got a lot, but I just don't. I mean, it's hard. It's like people say, like, "Oh, you say funny things." Like we came in here, they're like, "You guys have a lot of sayings," and I'm like, "Well, it's like telling me like you're walking the wrong way." I've been walking this way my whole life. I don't know if I'm doing it wrong or not. What we say is what we say. If you don't know it, then get with the program. Get with it. You'll learn. You'll learn. And we just released a new EP. So it, uh, if you are into heavy music and you want to check it out, it's on perfectwarforever.com or iTunes. Uh, check it out. The, we played a nine string on it, so a lot of you are pretty sure what that's all about. So go check it out. Hi. Perfect. Oh, I got even better. Check this out. Come on. All right, ready? 
Hey, wait, wait. I said, I, I said, <laughs> <laughs> I automated it. I demodulated it from the fourth to the seventh. Oh, 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 o